carbon cycle. Now, uh, first and foremost, um, the carbon cycle is still referring to the carbon dioxide, which of course is in the atmosphere, which human being, for example, would exhale as an excretory products. Now, carbon is very important as carbon dioxide is what plants, for example, use to make um, food or nutrients in that process that is known as photosynthesis. So, first and foremost, what you are seeing as for the first point of year, the carbon cycle explains the circulation of carbon compounds between the living and the non-living world. Now in terms of the living world, you are talking about living organisms. So like human being for example, human being would of course excrete um, carbon dioxide or let out give off carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Um, processes such as combustion, let's say for example you are lighting some garbage that is of course would be the non-living world. Now the whole process of burning or combustion also give up carbon dioxide. Uh, moving down to the second point, uh, carbon dioxide dissolved in water, hence sea and lakes are reservoir for carbon dioxide. So what they are saying, some amount of carbon dioxide you will find it um, in water simply because carbon dioxide would be in the atmosphere and once it rains for example then of course that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in the format of gas will be of course dissolved in the liquid now as for the carbon cycle now this diagram here explains the whole circulation of carbon in the living and the non-living world so I'm gonna go through this entire cycle. Now first and foremost, if you're explaining or studying a cycle, you normally start at one point, make a complete circle in terms of explaining all of these concepts and return here. So I'm gonna actually start at this um, box here where you see carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, 0.03%. Now what it is saying is that the atmosphere that surrounds us, it contains 0.03% of um, carbon dioxide. Now, some textbook will say 0.04, so it is approximately. Now, I'm gonna go this direction in that I'm gonna look at how carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere. So, photosynthesis in plant remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Now, this is the only useful way by which carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere. So yes, whenever we're breathing and we're taking some air from the atmosphere, we're also taking some amount of carbon dioxide. But of course, carbon dioxide is of no use to the human body. So that's why I'm saying that photosynthesis is the only process or the only useful process where carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere. So here, we're following this line. It is leaning towards um, plants and as you can see photosynthesis. So what it is saying is that plants remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and use it in this process that is called photosynthesis. But this is a process by which plants make their own food. Now what we are seeing here is that while plants, while they are making their food by the process of photosynthesis, they are giving up some carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere. So that's where you're seeing respiration and going back to the atmosphere. So while plants, while they are using up carbon dioxide, they are also giving of carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere. So as you can see, this is a cycle already. So this is already showing um, carbon dioxide circulating between the living and the non-living world. Now, if I should ask you, let's say for example, ask you to give me one way in which carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere, then you can tell me respiration by plants. And of course, you get that correct. Now, uh, moving along, 
Now this green arrow coming from the plants leading towards herbivores. Now what it is suggesting is that plants, for example, will be eaten by herbivores. So herbivores are animals which of course feeds on plants only. Now the goat, for example, now while that goat goat's um, body is actually utilizing the plant for example to release energy in that process that energy is released which of course is known as cellular respiration um, during that process energy is released and um, of course carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide would be a waste product now due to the fact that that particular animal um, body will exhale simply mean that carbon dioxide will be in the exhale air so that's why you're seeing uh, this line moving from herbivore going up back to the atmosphere so what it is saying is that that particular herbivore will give off carbon dioxide to the atmosphere as a result of respiration because cellular respiration once respiration is taking place carbon dioxide will be produced as a waste product so right away of course show you two ways in which carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere respiration by plants and of course respiration by herbivores or you can see respiration by animal now moving along this food chain here um, carnivores what it is suggesting is that carnivores would of course eat herbivores now the same process will be taking place inside these animal body where as a result of human being, for example, eating the cow, as cow would be a herbivore. Let's say, for example, human eating this particular cow. While cellular respiration is taking place in a particular human body, then of course carbon dioxide is being released as a waste product. So that's why you're seeing the line going towards carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So what it is suggesting is that herbivores also give up carbon dioxide to the atmosphere um, via the process that is known as um, respiration so again ways in which carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere respiration by plants respiration by herbivores respiration by carnivores so in terms of the cycle we finish with this aspect here now we are seeing death 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 now what it suggests is that if plants should die, some herbivores should die, and some carnivores should die, now all of the remain of those um, organisms will be decay, or if you want to say rotten, in the soil. Now decay by microorganism. So let's say for example you cut down a plant, you will realize that you might cut it down this week, by the next um, few years, I mean, you go to the same spot, you will not see that plant. That is simply because decay have taken place or decomposition where microorganisms are involved. Now, those microorganisms which are located in the soil, their bodies also allow cellular respiration to take place. And then, once cellular respiration is taking place, then of course, carbon dioxide will be produced as waste product or waste material. So, that's what you're seeing. Respiration by these microorganisms will, will, of course, release carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere. So, one, two, three, four. These are four ways in which carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere. Uh, moving along to the last aspect of the cycle here, decay prevented. Now, what it is saying is that if you should cut down the plant, but of course, it don't allow it to decay. Um, Herb, a herbivore die, a carnivore die, would of course will prevent them from decaying. Let's say, for example, you burn them. That is where you are seeing combustion here. Um, the example there again is wood, for example. Say, if you cut down the plant, you don't allow the plant to um, decay. You actually burn it. Let's say, for example, you are making some coal. Then, of course, the burning process is called combustion. Now, while, now once combustion is taking place, carbon dioxide will be produced as a waste material so that's where you're seeing combustion leading back to the atmosphere where the carbon dioxide so what it is suggesting is that any form of burning of fuel or wood or coal will give up carbon dioxide so and 
once you reach back here in terms of this line then the cycle is of course complete now um in terms of the cycle it is very simple just divide the cycle into one as you can see I have return of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere so I can just simply ask you to give me ways in which carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere so respiration by plants respiration by herbivores respiration by carnivores respiration by uh, microorganisms and of course combustion or any form of burning but these are the ways in which carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere the next um, aspect of the cycle is how carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere and as I said before carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis which of course is there when I look at all the arrows the only arrow that is leading from the atmosphere is of course this um, photosynthesis there and then of course uh, when the rain falls and the carbon dioxide dissolves in the lake or any water body So, um, guys, please remember to study your diagram because that's the only way you're going to get the concept um, correct. Now, this is the end of this lesson. Now, just look at the description aspect of this video and you will see the link to my website where, where of course, I'm going to upload this um not the video i'm going to upload the powerpoint presentation now in the comment section if you want me to go through a topic or explain a concept you can just leave it in the comment section there and i have absolutely no problem ex explaining that concept or topic for you so please remember to leave your question in the description section so once again, thanks for viewing. Your teacher, Mr. Thomas, is out of here.